Hey guys, what's going on? It's Darius here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I will show you this new product launched by a deal child called Presenter. And in this Presenter review, I will tell you exactly what it is, how it works, what it does. I will also show you the pricing and the upgrades. So by the end of this video, you should know if Presenter is right for you. Now I've created a small presentation about Presenter and let me show you what I've created here. So this is my presentation. This is the first slide and I can change this slide uh, with these arrows here or from the keys from my keyboard. And also we have the timeline and I can play it and uh, it will run automatically, right? So if I go full screen, I will change it with the keys from my keyboard. So yes, this is the first slide. This is about presenter, obviously a cloud-based software that basically will allow you to create presentations. You can create video sales letters and basically all this presentation can uh, be turned into PDFs. You can download it as an HTML and also from these presentations, you can also turn them into videos, which is actually pretty cool. And also you can create video sales letters. They've got hundreds of templates. It's very easy to use drag and drop editor. We also have the commercial license, which is included. That will allow you to sell this kind of services on places like Fiverr or Upwork or any kind of freelancing website. And this app will also allow you to embed videos inside of your presentations. Now, as you can see, we have this image, right? And behind this image is an effect, a flashing effect, which actually looks pretty cool. And if you go to the next slide, as you can see, this beautiful transition. This product is brought to you by Adil Chowdhury. This is Adil Chowdhury, the guy behind this product, also the founder of Scribble and also Pixel Studio FX. Now with Scribble, they got around four million, over four million dollars in sales, and with Pixel Studio FX, over two million dollars in sales. So Adil Chowdhury is a well-known entrepreneur and internet marketer. And this guy really takes care of his product. Now let's go to the next slide. We have a brief description about the presenter. Now I won't read through this, but you can also pause the video and uh, read it if you want to. Another brief description about presenter. Then we go to the next slide, which is the pricing. So the front end offer will cost you $47. And as you can see here, we have this description about the presenter and also these features. So you get 50 uh, presentation templates, 500 design slides, drag and drop editor, and all that good stuff. Stock media images, icon shapes, HD backgrounds, and so on. Now this picture, it's all about the upsells because after you buy the front end offer, you will be presented with some upgrades. And if I go to the next slide, I can show you the first one and second upgrade. So first upsell will be the pro version, $97. And as you can see, we have these two images all about the features of these upgrades and they are blurred out. But if I hover over them, as you can see, uh, it reveals the original photo. And this is one of the effects that you can use inside the software, which is actually pretty cool if you do a presentation about something that you want to reveal. So, uh, yeah. Now with the upgrade number one, you will be getting some uh, more templates, 150 templates. You also uh, can create video sales letters. You can also record your voice inside presenter. So you can do some voiceovers on top of your presentations. We also have some um, web icons, more stock images, unlimited storage and so on. And if we move to the upgrade number two, it will be the X Factor $47. And this one, it's all about templates. So you will be getting about 15 new templates each month for one year, right? Now, if I go to the next section, we have the next upgrades. And this uh, has an animation with the text, as you saw. So upsell number three will be the Halo 3D, $77. This one includes four new apps. And the first one is interactive flickbooks. App number two will be magical 3D carousels. App number three will be animated slide transitions. App number four will be mock-up skins. So uh, I will show you how this works throughout this video. Okay. Then we have upsell number four, auto drop finder, $97. And uh, with this one, in case you want to sell this kind of services on places like Fiverr 
or Upwork or any freelancing website, this software will allow you to find these jobs on these freelancing platforms. Okay, if I go to the next slide, we have the upgrade number five, which is the last upgrade, which is agency, $97. And this one will allow you to add more team members to your uh, account. It also includes a done for you agency website and uh, so on. So with this one, basically you can market these kind of services. Okay, and if I go to the next slide, let me turn the volume off. This will be the presenter demo. And as you can see, this video is embedded in this slide. Now I won't play the demo video because I will show you exactly how presenter works. So I will go to the next slide. And this slide is the final slide. Thank you. And as you can see, we have click here and secure your copy. And if I click on this button here, I will be redirected to my website. And uh, basically you can add any kind of link that, uh, that you have. So uh, yeah, in this case, I've added my uh, website. I also have a written review. And uh, yeah, you can find also more information about the pricing here. Also the bonuses, I've got some new bonuses for you guys in case you want to pick this up through my link. And uh, there is also a bundle deal for this offer. Basically what the bundle deal does is it will allow you to get the whole funnel. So the front end offer and all of the OTOs at a one time payment, right? So make sure you use this coupon code during your checkout. And uh, this I think will be around $397 for the whole funnel. And this is the webinar replay. If you want to watch it, you can do so. It's over two hours long. And I also have a special coupon code for you guys for the front end offer. And uh, you can find it here. Use code read ratings during your checkout. And this will bring the price, the normal price down with a few dollars. So yeah, make sure you check out my website. The link is in the description of this YouTube video. So I think that was a really long uh, introduction. And what I will do now, I will jump into the members area and show you exactly how Presenter works. Now, as you can see here on the screen, this is the members area after you log in. Let me make this screen bigger like so. And uh, yeah, you have on the left hand side all of the upgrades. OK, so in my case, I have all of the upgrades and uh, depending on what upgrade you have, you will have this uh, green check mark. We have the projects, the videos, client and also a welcome video by Adil Chowdhury. We have the menu on the top. So we have the templates where you can basically design your uh, presentations, VSLs, video sales letters, X Factor, which are the 15 templates uh, every single month. Hello 3D, Job Finder and Learn. Now, if I go to Learn, you will find a bunch of training videos. And this one will be covering like every aspect of this, uh, this product. OK, so don't worry about getting stuck because all the tutorials are here. And we also have the affiliate program. If you want to promote this product as an affiliate, you can do so. And on the right hand side, you have your account, your name. You can change the password, affiliate program, clients, agency, support and log out. And uh, yeah, if you want to create a presentation, all you have to do is just click on templates here and you will be redirected to the templates section. Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of templates here. So uh, yeah, what you will have to do is just pick a template that fits your niche and uh, start editing, customize it and all that good stuff. And uh, we have here all templates. And if you click on that and you can find some templates based on uh, categories, right? So, uh, yeah, but if you want, let's say I want to use this one smartphone devices tips. So if I click on view, I can preview these templates to see exactly how this looks how many slides and uh, what images they use, the background and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, just a second. Right, so this will be the first slide, the second, the third, the fourth slide, which is the uh, background video. And I think this one will do. I really like this template with these isometric designs. Very, very nice. And uh, I will click on use. 
Then what you want to do is to add this uh, presentation to your folders. You can create as many folders as you want by uh, clicking this plus button. I only have one and uh, you want to give this a name, but I will leave it like that and I will click on create. And now I will be redirected to the drag and drop editor. So I can start customizing it and editing the content and all that good stuff. So let me show you the editor. Now on the left hand side, we have, we have the slides. Okay. And we have 10 slides and you can change the slides by just clicking on each individual slide. And as you can see on this one, we have this uh, icon, right? And that means, uh, it means that we have a video inside this slide. Okay, and by the way, you can embed a video inside of each slide, not just one slide, you can embed videos on each slide, right? It's pretty, pretty cool. So uh, yeah, on top here, we have the uh, leave button, so you can exit this uh, uh, editor. We also have the plus button. If you want to add a new slide, you can click on this one and you can add a slide from, uh, from the template or you can add a blank one. Now we'll add this one. And if you want to move this around, you can do so. So I will bring this to the end of the presentation like so. So this will be the last slide in my presentation. Okay, so this is the left hand side. You also have the redo and undo and publish slides. Now, if I go to the first slide, we can change the text, we can change the background, we can add images, videos, filters, effects, animations, and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, the text basically can be edited as you want. Mobile apps, let's say like that. And as you can see, on the right hand side, you have this menu, right? So uh, yeah, I will walk you through these uh, options and what these are doing. So uh, for every element that you select inside of your slide, a different menu will appear here because this one is for the text, right? So you can uh, adjust the font. You can do line spacing, letter spacing like so with this one as well. You can uh, select the font, maybe this one. Right, then we have the style, so you can set this as a, an H1, H2, or a paragraph, but I will leave it like maybe H1, and I will drag this above. Then we have the a size, the font size, so you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. And if I make it bigger, I want to adjust this like so. Okay, maybe it's too big, but that one will do. You have the alignment, center, right, left, and so on. You can make it bold if you want to, but I think this one is bold as well. You can make it italic and also underlined. Then we also have the color, so you can change the colors of your text. And uh, let's make it, I don't know, yellow, orange, but I will leave it white because it looks better. Then we can underline this text as well. So if I click on uh, this pen here and if I click on plus, I can add the color behind this uh, text. So if I do this pink i will click on choose and you can also adjust this to fit the, the screen like so maybe you can make it a bit smaller smaller like so and i think this what will do right but if you want to remove it you go back here click on plus and choose the transparent uh, thing here and click on choose okay so uh, yeah what we have next is this magic wand here. Now, basically, this will allow you to add some effects. So in this case, we have static. And yeah, you can do a 3D text uh, like so, maybe destruction, like emboss, gradient, long shadow, scroll, white shadow, and all that good stuff. But I will leave it on a 3D text. And uh, I will go to entrance. So this is an animation that you can add. And basically this will apply between your scenes when you change the scene. So if I go to collapse in, as you can see, the effect is pretty cool. Fade from left, like so, fade from top and all these animations. Okay, loading. Right, pretty cool. Then we have a hover effect. 
And if I go to buzz, maybe now, as you can see, if I hover over this text, is now buzzing, right? And uh, let's go to shrink, hover over this, this will shrink. If I go to pulse and hover over this, this will make it bigger, Bas basically a pulse effect, right? Which is pretty cool. Now you also have the loop effect. So let's say we choose bounce. And as you can see, this will bounce for the entire period of the of your slide. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. Now we also have the opacity. You can also adjust the opacity of this text, but I won't do that. We also have some bullet points, so you can make, uh, I don't know, if you want to list some features, uh, you can do some bullet points. We also have the indent and many more features like text direction, hyperlink. We also have the arrange order, lock, so you can lock this, uh, this element and you can also rotate it. So if I click on rotate, you can do like that. Okay, right, so yeah, but uh, if you want to maybe add a link to this product, to this text, you can do so by clicking here and you can add an external link, maybe your product, service or an affiliate offer. Or if you want to jump into another slide, you can do so by choosing your slide. So we have 11 slides and if I go and put this, uh, the seventh slide, if I click on this button, this will be redirected to the seventh slide in my presentation, right? Which is pretty cool. So uh, I will choose um, none, basically. Okay. So that's the thing with the text. Now, we also have the background. So if you want to change the background, as you see, I'm on the background now. And if you go to, to the image here, if you click on that, you can also change the background. And by the way, these are all the images that you get from these guys. These are all royalty free stock media assets that you can use in your presentations. We have my images and this is all the images that you will be uploading here. And to upload a new photo or new image, you can click on browse and you can upload a picture from your uh, computer. We also have the system settings. So these are basically images, photos, vectors, GIFs and all that good stuff from the from the templates, then we have the web, if you want to add a, an image from a specific URL, and we have the backgrounds, right? So in this case, maybe I want to choose this background. As you can see, the background is now changed. Now, for example, if I want to add an image or a video or uh, maybe a new text, you have to click this button here, as you can see, because this is another menu. And this plus button will allow you to add some text, an image, media or shapes you can also add some shapes if you want to so let's do one for this example like that and put it here and i want to add an image and i can search from uh, from this uh, app so let's say let's search for uh, mobile click on search and let's do this one like so maybe a bit smaller now as you can see if we click on this image a new menu will appear on the on the right hand side okay so you can crop it if you want to like so so let's do that like so double click to crop and as you can see now this image is now cropped right what else we have here we have border width you can set that up we also have the border color. So if I want to maybe add a bit of border to this image, I can do so and select the color like yellow, right? You see, this one is pretty cool as well. And uh, we also have the magic wand. So if you want to add some effects to this photo, you can do so from here. So we have the static ones. You can blur it like so. We have the dark shadow, uh, purple feature round corners sepia and all that good stuff we have the entrance so whenever you change the slide uh, the slides you can animate this photo so if i go to zoom down let's see what this one does okay zoom out zoom up blur to sharp so it's now blurry and it goes steadily goes to the original uh, color gray to color then we have the hover 
and uh, let's go with bounce if I hover over this, as you can see, this photo is bouncing now. Let's go pan up. And if I hover over this, it will go up, uh, tilt up, hover over it. And as you can see, the filter already applies. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. And we also have the loop. You can do 3D rotate like so. Amoeba, I'm not quite sure what this one does. Kind, Some kind of pulse. Bounce and also flash light. I like this one, flash light, and I will leave it like that. Then we have the opacity. So if you want to adjust the opacity, you can do so, but I will leave it like that. You can also add a hyperlink to this photo. You can also arrange the order. So arrange the order, basically, this will send it to back. You can send it to front and all that good stuff. So now should be gone, right? But I will leave it on front. You can lock it and you can also rotate it like so, but I will leave it like that. Okay, so this is the menu for the photos. Now, let's go to another slide, like the second slide. Uh, and let me show you how you can add a video inside of this slide. For example, we have, all right, so let me bring that up. We have this plus button. Let's go to the media and add a video. And you want to select the source. You can add video from YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia or an embed code. So uh, I will go with YouTube and let me grab a video. The presenter demo from my website and paste it in here. So you want to paste that URL and uh, then you want to set the duration of this video. So this video, it's about 24 minutes and 34 seconds. So we'll do 24, 34, like so. And also the slide duration will change, I think, automatically. So yeah, this slide will uh, be 24 minutes long. And if I click on add, as you can see, this video will be added into this slide. Okay. And this one is really, really cool. And you can also adjust it like make it bigger, make it smaller, however you want it to be, you can do it like so. And we also have some options here. So you can edit this video. Uh, not, I'm not quite sure you can crop it or maybe add a frame. No, you can't. And we have the magic wand. So we have two options here for the effects and animation. So I will click on static, let's say dark shadow, and we'll give it a dark shadow glow who long dash sepia okay dark shadow and let's go to entrance blur to sharp gray to color okay and sepia to color so these are the effects that you can add to this video now let's go to the next slide and let's say, for example, I want to add a, a media, but this time an audio, you can do an audio basically to upload your own voiceover for this specific slide, but you can also add your own audio for the entire presentation. And you can also record your own voiceover inside this app just by clicking on record. So let's do that. And uh, as you can see, the waves are moving and that means that my microphone is already connected. So uh, to start recording, just click on this red button. We'll give you a countdown timer, three, two, one, and you can start talking about uh, whatever you want to talk in this slide, okay? So uh, yeah, once you're done, click on stop. Okay, you can listen if you want to, and you can also add it to this slide, right? And uh, as you can see here at the bottom, we have the voiceover, right? So it says here, player won't appear in final presentation. This is just to notify you that in this slide, we have uh, a voiceover. And also on the left hand side, as you can see on this specific slide, we have this mic. And that means that in this slide, we have uh, a voiceover. Okay. So uh, yeah. Now, if I click on this plus button again, if I go to media, we have the gallery. Now this gallery, it's all about the music and sound effects because you can also add some sounds inside of your presentations. 
and sound effects and music and all that good stuff right and you can play around with these ones and uh, yeah now as you see this menu here we have this eye so if i click on this eye i can preview only this slide but if i go to this one i can preview the whole presentation okay this one obviously will save you will save the presentation with this microphone here basically you can start and uh, record your own voiceover we also have this menu here which is the main menu and uh, yeah once you've done all of the presentation all of the uh, editing stuff you can download it and if i click on this button you can download it as a video pdf or html and you can also share it on social media like on facebook twitter linkedin and so on okay now on the left hand side what i want to show you so for example the first uh, slide as you can see we can delete it we can duplicate it if you want to and also we have this cog wheel which is slide settings and if you click on that basically you can set the duration of your slide so in this case i want this slide to be around 30 seconds click on apply if i go to the second one i mean the second one it's already with the video so it's already done but the third one let's go with the settings and i want this one to be around 15 seconds click on apply and you can go on and on and set the duration for each individual slide and basically this is how you can create a presentation using presenter and as you saw you have a bunch of features and a bunch of options you can add a bunch of things inside of your presentations right so uh, yeah this is presenter in a nutshell now i will save this one and i will click on this leave button click on save and exit and what i want to show you now is the the upgrades so uh, yeah we talked about the templates but you also can create video sales letters so if i click on vsl section here if i go to my folder uh, and if i want to create a new vsl i click on this plus button and i want to select the folder which is my folder here and want to give it a name so let's say vsl1 and click on next then what you want to do is add your copy add your text and so on so i will copy this text and paste it in here like so and, and what you want to do now is to insert some pointers as you can see here step two insert pointer to create slides so uh, if i move my mouse on the left hand side as you see here let me zoom in and if i double click as you can see this pointer has been already inserted okay now this one will be one slide if i want another slide i will go to the next one double click and as you see it added a pointer so this will be another slide if i go to this one double click another slide and so on and so on okay so let me zoom out now uh, you can maybe play around with the propositions and, and all that stuff but let's click on next and as you can see we have some slides now the first slide will always be empty you can delete it and uh, you can rearrange these uh, slides as you wish depending on what you have but in a nutshell we have how many one two three four and five slides okay and obviously you can add more text if you want to but i will click on next and now what you want to do is select the background image so uh, let me do this one doesn't really matter you can choose from these categories here click on select and click on let's design and now you will be redirected to the presentation uh, drag and drop editor where you can start editing and customizing your vsls right now uh, what i forgot to show you uh, inside of the presentations is that we have these template settings here and with these options you can uh, select the fonts for the whole slide so if you want the i don't know the heading font to be this one the subheading you can change it as well and also the paragraph you can change it as well and then we have the colors of the text so let's do this one white let's do this one white again this one white again and i will click on apply and as you can see all the text 
has been uh, changed throughout the slides with those fonts and that uh, color that I have selected. Okay, so uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. But we also have some uh, other options like logo branding. You can have a logo and if you want to show it, you, you will leave this on. But if you don't want to show a logo, tick this box off. And to add your logo, just uh, click on browse, uh, search it from uh, your computer and add it in here and click on apply. Okay. And uh, let me show you another thing that you can do with these uh, options. We have also slide settings. Now, by default, this, uh, these uh, animations, these transitions are slide left and zoom in. But you can play around with these. I uh, will choose this one and click on apply. And by the way, under the background music, you can select the music for the whole presentation. OK, but I won't do that. I will just click on apply with this uh, slide transition. OK. And basically what you want to do now is just add videos, shapes, uh, images and all that good stuff. You can change the colors, the fonts. Everything can be customized as uh, I previously showed you in the presentation uh, tutorial. So, uh, yeah, but basically once you've done with the video, all you have to do is just click on this button and download this as a video. Click on OK and now your video will be rendered. So depending on how long your video uh, is, it might take longer, it might take a few minutes, not quite sure, but anyway, I will leave this page, save and exit, and let me show you the next upgrade. So X Factor is all about the templates. We have Hello 3D, and I think this one is really worth buying because uh, you can do so much stuff with this one. I mean, you can create a flip book from your presentation and it's very very easy to do if i click on create flick book here give it a name a uh, test one two click on next and you want to select the presentation that you have created so i will choose this one click on use and then you want to select the background so uh, we have these backgrounds only here i will use this one and uh, now what this one will do basically we'll create a nice flick book from this presentation so if i click on view is now loading you have the bar here at the bottom and uh, check this out if i click on this arrow just like a page right and this is the slide with the video so if i click to play the video it basically will redirect it to youtube and uh, we go to the next page so next page right so you get the idea this one is pretty pretty cool and also you can get creative and create these beautiful nice looking flip books right so that's the flip book and as i said it's very easy to use now uh you can do further edits if you want to but you also have this uh, embed code so if you want to embed this to your website you can do so you have iframe embed button embed pop-up embed and custom embed you can also manage some settings here and all you can also get the code right so this is the flipbook creator then we have the 3d carousel this one will create a 3d carousel so let's do one quickly do one click on next use your presentation click on this one so let's check this out if i click on view and basically this is a carousel of uh, each slide as you can see and uh, yeah if i move my mouse on the right it will go on the left if i move my mouse on the left it will go right if i go to center it will stop a bit depending on how you go with your mouse but the idea is that you want to give this a description and i will show you how to uh, edit this carousel but for example if someone will click on this slide you can set this slide to redirect them to a specific url which is pretty cool so if i go to edit as you see we have each individual slide you want to enter a title so let's say darius one and you want to add your url let's do this one for this example and the description 
Let's copy this text and paste it here. Click on save. But you can also add uh, the title descriptions and also URL for each individual slide. Okay. And if you go to the carousel settings here, you can also make some uh, customizations to this carousel. You can adjust the speed, the aerial view, the zoom, slide spacing, and uh, the background color and so on. Right. But I will leave it like that. You also have the link. So let's see it now. Right. So this one was the the one that I've edited, right? This is the title, the text. And if I click on this, as you can see, this will redirect me to the link that I've pasted there. Okay. Pretty, pretty cool. So uh, yeah, let's go back to the Hello 3D. And we also have mock-up skins. Now mock-up skins, it's actually very nice because this will allow you to present your presentation into a mock-up like a, a iMac, a monitor, and so on. So let's give test one, two, three, click on next. And we have this presentation, click on use. And I want to present this presentation in, uh, I like this uh, TV, so I'll click on use. And uh, let's click on view. Let's wait a bit until it's loading. Right, so this is my presentation and I can change the slides, right? This looks pretty, pretty cool. And also you can edit this uh, mock-up skin. Maybe if you want to change the, the background, like a color, you can select the color. So maybe let's do this blue here, click on save and let's go back. Let's view it again. Let me close this one. This one as well, this one as well. Right, so this is the presentation. And this one looks very, very, very nice, right? Stunning. Okay, so let me close that. And basically this, it's all about presenter. So uh, yeah, we also have the job finder, the agency website, you can download it from here. But in a nutshell, this is how you can create a presentation, a video sales letter, and the overall presenter, right? And I think this software, it's very, very professionally made. And uh, this guy, Adil Chowdhury, put a lot of money, a lot of effort inside of this software, and it works really, really great. It's very easy to use, and I really, really like it. So um, I think that should wrap it up because I already showed you the pricing, the demo, everything about presenter in a in a nutshell to say so and uh, yeah if you got some value out of this video i will appreciate it if you could smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and uh, again if you want to pick this up just click on the uh, first link in the description of this youtube video you'll be redirected to my website and here you will find uh, every information you need about presenter and uh, I will catch you up in my next review video. Until then, stay safe. Cheers. Bye.